I like to refer back to uh, an anecdote from the Catalina Channel swim with you. So the first time I got in as a support swimmer with you, the water felt like Hong Kong winter water. I'm in a suit. I'm totally fine. Edie's not in a suit. She's totally fine. And uh, I thought, she can do this. It's fine. But the second time I got in, the water temperature had significant, significantly dropped. Uh, I think it was five degrees Celsius. So, yeah, because I, I actually know, five drop degrees. It dropped five dropped, degrees. Yeah, dropped five degrees Celsius. Not that it was five. Yeah, degrees. it was went from twenty to about fifteen or sixteen. I felt like eighteen to like. <laughs> it was cold. Anyway, I got in and I thought, dude, this is cold, and I'm like, how is she doing this? She said her her hands were starting to claw, which is not a good sign, and she was kind of hesitant. I didn't know what was going on in her head, but what I knew is she had to move. So I just urged her, you got to move, just move. And she just put her head down and just stroke by stroke started moving and then slowly got her rhythm. And I thought, this woman has been swimming 10 hours, most of it in the dark, no land in sight, all alone and with dark objects swimming under her like she had mentioned. The currents were pushing her hard. They picked up at that point because from the boat you could see the whole ocean pushing her. And then this temperature drop. And I thought, how is she doing this? It's, it's, it's just amazing. And so I'd like to ask you about the psychology of swimming and how do you face those moments? I think that it helps to have a sort of destination in mind. I think that it like doing these channel swims, there's always a sort of land mass that I'm swimming towards. So it, it definitely helps when you can see it. If you don't see it, it's it's a little bit mentally daunting. Like Suguru, I never saw land, so it was harder. Um, I think that halfway through, I was already able to see land and see California, um, the coastline. So it helps. And, you know, uh, people always ask me what I'm thinking. It's It's kind of like a... It's like meditation. I've just kind of things, ideas pop in, uh, pop out, and I'm just breathing. But I, I don't actually practice the sign of sitting still meditation. It's, it's just the swimming. It just kind of helps me clear my head. And the one thing that does get me motivated is actually food. I always think about my meal after my swim, and I think about what I'm going to eat. <laughs> So I'm very basic like that, <laughs> like a little animal. <laughs> what else? Okay, my question.